Good morning. I have my Sir t-shirt, my Sir guitar. Lovely. And we're ready to begin. I'm just going to turn on my Edderall and turn on Pro Tools. This time I'm really going to turn it on because I've already shot this video and um, forgot to turn my Pro Tools on. So I recorded everything and didn't get it. Okay, let us begin with my, my live sets, or my live presets. So what I've done is I've set up my Ground Control Pro with my Axe Effects on MIDI Channel 2. I have assigned two expression pedals, one for volume, one for wah, and a bunch of instant access buttons on the Ground Control to control blocks within the Axe Effects. Very simple to set up. Um, so I've got some instant accesses like uh, my overdrive I can turn off and on, my phase I can turn off and on, my flanger, my pitch detune, and my delay. Because we all know that everybody wants to hear it without delay. That's my rhythm sound with delay. Turn it off, I hit my instant access for delay. set up uh, volume we've already gone into my, the IO and the controller and I've set up external one to be MIDI uh, CC7 and I've assigned this pedal to be MIDI CC7 within the setup of the, con of the uh, ground control so when I go to a typical patch I've set up a mixer after the the distortions and the uh, graphics and parametrics and stuff and I go into the mix and if I go into gain 2 which is the the uh, the line in the uh, the effects blocks that I'm mostly on um, gain 2 has got a little block underneath it you toggle over to gain 2 you hit enter and I've set it up so that my volume pedal External one is the source, and if you watch the little ball, when I move my pedal, it goes up and down, responding to the volume. So that turns the volume up and down. Cool. To set up my expression pedals on my ground control, what I've done is you go in and you press setup, the two setup buttons at the same time, brings you into setup mode. I'm going to my pedal and I've turned P1 on bank and P2 is on and we're all set so we get out of there I'm gonna go to my Axe Effects stuff here we're just gonna choose a preset hit the edit button and toggle to the pedals and P1 is controller 20 which is the wah um, P2 is controller 7 which is the volume and you can see the the numbers change as I move the pedal up and down and oops back here toggle over and we have to make sure that the P2 the pedal 2 input is assigned to the proper uh, device which in this case is the Axe Effects which is on MIDI channel 2 for me hit edit and we're out so I keep getting emails Mark what does your watch sound like through the Axe Effects so here we go my watch, very lovely citizen watch, through my guitar into Axe Effects. Here we go. You ready? Wow. He's still alive. Let's go on to my 
main basic solo accesses for the delay and what I've done is I've assigned it a CC number so that when the Axe FX sees that CC number it changes the time of the delay, it increases the delay, uh, it increases the volume of the delay and increases the feedback, the number of repeats. So it gets right nasty you know. So here I will play a note for you and hit that instant access and you'll see what happens. <laughs> So what I use that for is if I'm ending a solo and going back into a rhythm part and I want that last note to trail, hence the name Spill Over Trailing Delays. It sounds like this. So I'm able to program a second delay um, because I like delay on my rhythms and continue with that spillover from the previous patch. Very neat, very cool, very nutty. So right now I have no pitch detune uh, because I'm sick of course. I just put it on. Not much chorus, a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb. Uh, I've taken the compressor off this particular preset. taken my basic solo sound and added a wah block to it and I've set up my second expression pedal to auto engage so I don't have to press any button the wah is on as soon as I press on the wah pedal <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye.